jcblitz.com. It is a very secure system. All the daily footage gets automatically uploaded to the cloud. What if you start draining from the cloud, eh? What I mean to all my money and go flying everywhere? So how is Metro Park 2 bigger and crazier than Metro Park 1? Um, well, A, you see uh, more of the family. Uh, uh, meaning uh, uh, you, there are more family members added this time uh, I don't want to reveal too much about who and how and why uh, and the second thing is you see more of uh, uh, more of the, the lives of these family members uh, and uh, their conflicts are bigger their aspirations are bigger uh, and uh, I think that adds a lot to the added craziness that is that uh, second two brings over season one. Okay, great. So what are the key differences in your character from series one to series two? Kalpesh is uh, dealing with more uh, chaos uh, this time around. Obviously born out of the same conflict which the series is about, which is a uh, you know Indian immigrant living in the US and uh, you know the whole uh, conflict between trying to retain the, your own uh, cultural identity while as, at the same time uh, trying to blend in, uh, you know, to uh, the culture where you now belong to. So this that's essentially what the show is about and it uh, kind of takes the story further uh, and uh, and uh, gives the characters uh, bigger opportunities to kind of reveal themselves. And were there any challenges in your production schedule due to COVID-19? We had a great team, we had a great plan in place because we shot this just after the, the main big lockdown, the first big lockdown ended in September. Mm -hmm. And so everybody was scared, but, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, due credit to the, the, the producer, Jiju John, uh, and his entire team, because uh, they really went all out to take care of everyone and take all the necessary precautions. They had a department called COVID Compliance, uh, which was working all the time, which was headed by a, a doctor. And um, they took all the precautions that were needed on set, you know, masks, temperature checks uh, and uh, distancing and trying to keep the locations to be as far as possible open air. Um, and um, we also had the crew living in a bubble, which was, which means uh, that the crew just lived together by, the, by themselves in these four houses, which they had. And they, they weren't allowed to commute, uh, you know, in public or, or kind of meet too many people from outside of the crew. And uh, did you bring any of your character from Pariwar to Metro Part 2? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, one would you you'd think that, uh, you know, maybe one day uh, when I get Alzheimer's or something, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll, st I'll, I'll start doing uh, like different parts in the wrong places, but not yet, no. And how is acting in a web series uh, different from the TV world? I, I wouldn't know much about TV because the only thing I've done on TV was uh, a sketch and a stand-up comedy show. Uh, so I've never done fiction for TV. Uh, mm -hmm. I Only time I've done series uh, was for, you know, OTT or streaming platforms. And uh, Metro Park actually was the first one that I shot for. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can, if I can't answer the difference between TV and uh, streaming platforms and but I can tell you the difference between film and uh, mm -hmm. series and that would be that in a series uh, you know if you're lucky and you get a part which 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 is a which is a meaty role uh, you get a lot more time to be able to uh, flesh out that character and uh, explore that character a lot more than you would say in a in a feature film. And uh, when can we expect to see you in high series two? Can you give us a sneak preview? Ah, High is another series uh, which is uh, which I really love because I love that character mm -hmm. and uh, it you know it kind of feels strangely cathartic to play that part and unfortunately I have uh, I have no news I can share with you about season 2 of High yet um, and are you shooting any kind of web series at the moment if so what are the kind of challenges how are you adapting to the new Kind of COVID regulations. Yes, I I did finish shooting for another series called Sunflower, which is uh, 
directed and written by Vikas Behel. Uh, I think uh, generally the business it has adapted quite well to the circumstances and uh, you know to to uh, kind of um, fighting the threat of uh, COVID. Uh, mm-hmm. Even in this production, we had an you know a COVID compliance uh, unit which was. Uh, and uh, keeping an eye on everything and uh, there are fresh protocols and rules which have to be followed and uh, so far i've been lucky no covid yet i've been uh, yeah. i've been sh- i've been shooting since september so yeah so what's the first thing you'd like to do when, uh, when we're past this pandemic when covid 19's out the way first thing i'd like to do um i'd like to go pubbing actually that's been a while <laughs> Sure. And moving away from the TV and the digital space now, can you tell us three Desi things about yourself? Three Desi things about myself? Yeah. I love sambar. Although I'm a Punjabi, but I love uh, sambar. Um, what other Desi thing can I tell you? Um, I need water uh, you know, when I go you know, to the bar, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's as easy as it gets. <laughs> and uh, it was the third Desi third thing about me. Uh, I had to sleep in my kachas. I, 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 I can't be bothered with, uh, you know, track pants and sleep, sleeping pants and night suits. And I need, uh, I need my air. I, okay. I hope these were Desi enough for you. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks very much. And thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.